Cheryl Robin, who has, I believe, two photos. She also sent in a little write-up. Uh, let's see what Cheryl has to say. So this one here, 65 gallon freshwater tank. It is fairly new and is probably a bit too colorful for some folks, but I enjoy it. This is a, a great example of that like quintessential uh, cliche aquarium. Yeah. And I mean that in the, the most positive way. I think this looks awesome. It's well staged. It's got a great balance. You've got great depth. We've got ornaments close to the front, including stone and everything on the left side of the tank, moving towards the back of the tank, towards the right. Uh, you've got the ship on the, like the hardscape. I'm gonna consider the rock and then that ship, the hardscape, kind of sloping up on the third, uh, rule of thirds kind of line on the right side of the tank. You've got a crazy assortment of color, but in a way that kind of pulls it all together. That could be easily Pixar's version of the ocean you know, and pick a movie. And this, this reminds me of, um, in, in our video, how to use plastic plants to make your aquarium look awesome. Yeah. In that video, when you talk about using uh, fake aquarium plants, you mentioned, um, don't use a lot of color unless, unless that's what you're going, going for. for. And it looks like this yes. is a very conscious way to do that. Yes. I, <laughs> oh, I love this tank. Yeah. I, <laughs> this has probably made me the smile the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is, but tanks like this are just again. Maybe it's from my childhood. Being like, this is like gives you the, the warm aquarium. and fuzzies. Yes, yeah. this is awesome. Okay, so your fish also look happy and healthy. Uh, I can see you've got some really cool, colorful fish in there as well. Um, do you have glowfish in there? If you if those are glowfish, which they they very well may be, uh, which are basically uh, a genetically modified fish to have. Uh, jellyfish and or coral pigments so that they glow like corals and jellyfish Super do. Super cool. If you don't have an actinic light on this tank, which is blue light, you need to put one on and you need to turn the white light off and just let the blue light go because I guarantee this tank will glow like crazy. I bet you a bunch of those plants and I think uh, the anemone ornament too will be reactive to that uh, actinic light and glow as well it's gonna look dope. If you haven't done it, you should give it a shot. And send us a photo. If yes. you do it and it looks yes. awesome, yeah, yeah, yeah. send us a photo. I will tell you though, if you're gonna take a picture, it's really hard. Some phones will automatically adjust to blue light. It's really hard. But if you have a pair of amber um, polarized sunglasses, shoot the photo through those glasses and it'll clean it up a lot. I've done that myself just as a trick. Uh, they also make the Aquarium Clear. I was just wondering which what is, we, yeah, yeah. Which is like, a beefed up on on absolute crack version of that that and works a, incredible another well. video we just did recently where you yeah. can like clip it right onto your cell phone and take these amazing photos of of fluorescent or you know, yeah like heavily it. actinic tanks yes. where you've got a lot of blue light to filter at the aquarium clip but if if you don't have one handy and you're just trying to take a picture of your tank one time with actinic lights to uh you know make two guys on camera smile <laughs> 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 um sunglasses work really well as long as they're polarized and uh, amber so that is an awesome tank thank you so much for sending that now uh cheryl cheryl has one more tank uh with a little write-up as well sweet yeah, let me bring it up here i'm so curious after seeing this one what she did with the other one uh, okay oh so it's, my it's it's a very different feel so she says here 75 gallon fresh water i have a mix of various fish in here that are probably not supposed to be together but they all get along fine uh, thanks for all your good info on your channel. Oh, okay. I just noticed something and you probably may, may or may not be surprised that I picked this up, Cheryl. You have a suction cup, uh, Pleco plushie stuck to your tank. I never bought one of those. I'm going to, I've been meaning to for a long time because I love them. You rock. That's really cool. You, you inspired him. Nice work. Yeah. Again, you smashed I, it out I think of the we park. We had those uh, around the office, didn't we? Like, didn't yeah. a bunch of people around the office got them, and they yeah. were super cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway. No, they're they're really cool. You did a great job with this tank too, for the exact same reason you did a great job with the other tank. Different theme. Yeah. Well done. Well balanced. Well placed. Good use of color. Um, I mean, you don't always see African cichlids in with uh, South Americans or angels uh, and stuff. But if they're happy and doing okay, Africans are super hardy, so they can adapt to a lot of different uh, environments. That's a, a weird mishmash of fish that you don't normally see, but they look healthy, and that's really what matters. Awesome job. You, I can tell you like your aquariums, and not for them being anything other than aquariums and a place to put your most prized possessions. And your fish definitely look like your most prized possessions. They are super healthy. Cheryl, good work.
Nice job. Awesome. Very cool. Tommy Bradfield, uh, three uh, zebra danios, one silver molly, and one painted platy. That's a great little tank too. I love the blue gravel. Yeah. Is this the first time we've seen blue gravel? Yeah, it is. Yeah, which is weird because blues, like from the beginning when I started in Aquarius, I've always thought that blue is one of the uh, brightest and, and uh, nicest colors of painted gravel you can use, but not everybody uses it. And I think this is, it's like, think of it like this way. Water's supposed to be blue. Yes. You know, when you look at art or you look at uh, cartoons or you look at anything, water's always depicted as blue. But water's clear. So when you throw blue gravel in an aquarium, it gives it that like super duper, you know, quintessential water feel. Yep. So I really like it. Uh, it's a great contrast for green, which plants, obviously people often use plastic plants and stuff in tanks. It looks fantastic. Uh, I love the tiki ornament. Yeah. I feel like I, I feel like I'm waiting for the platy to swim through his mouth, <laughs> just like oh. just swim in and out. The so, ship something too. Remi something reminds me of the, the chant from uh, Finding oh. Nemo. What is that? Shark bait, brouhaha. Yes, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Good work, Tommy. Excellent. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, that's oh! Tommy's. That's Tommy's purebred border collie. Tommy, I like dogs. I got dogs. That is one cute pup. I have a puppy, and. Uh, I'm I'm now, where's your puppy? He's upstairs. I'll bring, uh, should I go get him? I think you should go get him. I'll go get him. Yeah, go get him. Okay. Well, now that we got rid of him, let's have some real talk. The battery to the camera is almost dead. So this probably wasn't the best idea if we wanted to conserve battery life, but you live and learn. So you, have, you guys have seen the new movie? Oh, uh, he used to be so much smaller. So this is Duchess, uh, named after <laughs> Sterling Archer. <laughs> nice. He's a purebred Rottweiler, and he's going to get absolutely massive. His dad's 140 pounds. And what I was going to say was, I look at paws now because uh, my other dog, who's five, has way smaller paws, and she's bigger than he is by a bit. Yeah, we're tired, I woke you up. So it's just a testament to how much bigger he's gonna get than her. She's a medium-sized dog. He's going to dwarf her. So the first thing I did was look at the paws of your pup because I'm like, oh, they're so small. And then this guy who's gonna just absolutely clobber stomp me one day. <laughs> I can lift him now, but that's gonna end real soon. And he's so well behaved. He's such a good dog. He's really good with the kids. I got two little kids and he's been excellent. A little nippy because puppies like to play like that, but uh, really well man mannered, rolls over, gives you his belly if you want to give him a rub, like just a great dog. And uh, he really looks up to Coda, my other dog, which is awesome because she is an amazing influence. Yeah. And there's there's the puppy right there. I'm gonna just eat your hands. All right. Cool. <laughs> Say bye bye. 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 <clears throat> so the weather the weather is crazy lately, right? Travis wow. Young. Travis Young. High tech 36 gal bow front. Yeah, I can tell. Definitely. Uh, excellent work. Honestly, excellent work. I don't know how old the tank is, but it's obviously growing in really well. Uh, I love the, I can't tell if that's, uh, no, that's definitely, that's gotta be valves. So the long thin plants that are going across the surface of the tank, they look like valves. I love valves for exactly that reason. Uh, you've done a really good job using them kind of in the foreground, although a lot of people use them as a background uh, plant because they're thin and you can see through them, but they are very wispy. When you have uh, plants behind them, they kind of give you this really cool window into looking at those plants. So you have to look through the valves to see the plants behind them and uh, the valves break up the texture of the whole tank and give you more depth and dimension. Uh, by giving you that partition center of the tank that you can still see through. Uh, the foreground plants look awesome. I think I see some styrogene repens at the front there, maybe some baby tears. Wow. No, you're doing, you're doing a fantastic job. I love the use of red plants mixed in with the green. This is obviously a very uh, green dominant tank as far as plants go, and the reds are used as an accent. They're used very smartly as an accent. Uh, again, rule of thirds is definitely coming into play here. Uh, you can see the red uh, plant in the background on the left is right at that uh, third line, both 
uh, at the top, like the top third plus the left third. Mm -hmm. So vertical and horizontal, both on the third line. The red plant in the bottom, echoing that, but not perfectly on the third mark, which is fine. Uh, which is something I'll talk about later. It's the rule of thirds, but all rules are meant to be broken. So uh, very, very well done. Um, I love that we've got the large sword on the left side of the tank closer to the front. And then we've got the uh, valves mirrored in the back of the uh, tank at that uh, corner. So you've, you've tied it in uh, the big group of, again, the rule of thirds is at play all over the scape. It looks really nice. I also love, Maybe it's hydrocaudal. I can't really tell because the photo is a little bit small. Uh, mixed in on the left side at the bottom into the sword. So you've got those smaller rounder leaves yep. mixed right in with the sword. That is probably one of the coolest uses of that plant that I've seen so far. Or any plant like it. There are a few plants that look like that. Very good work. This, this is an excellent scape. I'm going to guess you've been doing this for quite a while. And if you haven't, if this is like your first tank, you've just destroyed me. <laughs> Nailed it. My first tank... <laughs> did not look like that. Not even my first planet tank. Uh, but I'm gonna guess you probably you probably got some experience. It's probably not your first tank, and you did a really really good job. Cool, Travis. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, Turtle Mega, send this in. Nice. Yeah. That's fun. That's that's a fun little tank. So uh, low tech planet tank looks like with gravel. Um, yeah, that's just black, white, and red gravel, I think. I almost thought that was a planet substrate mixed in with it, but I think it's all gravel, and it might be sitting on top of planet substrate, or it might just be... Yeah, they didn't really send in any details with it, so I don't know, but... All for the sake of it, just based on the fact that it looks like a covering on top of another substrate, mm -hmm. either you got bored of your black gravel and then put other stuff on top of it, or it's planted substrate that you then put a decorative gravel on top of. Either way, the mix of uh, white and red is really cool. Neat. Reminds me a lot of the Canadian flag. Indeed. I don't know where you're from, but uh, I like it. I dig it. Mystery snails all over the place, I think, or trapdoor snails. I can't really tell. I'm not sure. Uh, I see you definitely have a really nice um, nerite snail in there who's going to do a great job of eating algae. Awesome selection for a planet tank. We'll be talking more about that kind of stuff when we go uh, and finish off our planet tank series. Um, I love the neons. Those are definitely neons. Uh, a lot of people confuse neons and cardinals. So the difference between, the easiest way to, for me to tell the difference between a cardinal and a neon at first glance is on a cardinal, the red stripe on the bottom of the fish doesn't stop after the tail. It goes all the way to the front. So a cardinal is blue and red. A neon is blue and red. So a uh, great little school of neons. They look really happy. Um, I'm a big fan of keeping them in planet tanks. They do really well in planet tanks. They like to hide a lot. It makes them feel a little bit more comfortable and they tend to uh, settle in a lot faster that way. Use of snails for algae removal is great. I think I may even see a uh, albino and cistrus or bushy nose pleco in there. Another really excellent choice. Actually, there might be two of them. There's one on the back glass and the side glass that I can see, I think. Uh, great options um, for keeping a uh, planet tank clean. Uh, auto sinkless catfish work really well too for plant leaves. Um, when the bushy nose get a bit older, you'll find they probably don't sit on the plants as much. Then uh, you, you can get some auto synchronous if you don't already have them um, on uh, the plant leaves themselves to try to keep the plants free from algae. I don't see a lot of algae. There's a little bit. It's very normal for uh, a low-tech plant tank. Not impossible to overcome and definitely easier to deal with when you have a good cleanup crew, which you definitely have a, a good one started. Also see some cherry barbs, which are an excellent option for a small fish tank. Love cherry barbs. Love, love, love them. Um, they, they basically remind me of like little salmon or little trout, just like little stream fish, you know? I just, I think they're really, really cool. Just miniaturized versions. Them and, uh, galaxy rasboras. They look identical to little brook trout. They really do. One day I'll get a picture of a brook trout and, and a galaxy rasbora side by side. I'm going to make Brian do it. Yeah, I'll do it. There you go. It'll be, it's, it's my job. Yes. It's there. You're seeing it now. Um, they're just really cool. I think you did a really great job. This tank is going to grow in slowly based on your plant choices because we have uh, your biggest plants are Anubius, it looks like. Uh, that might be a sword plant there. Um, and then obviously you've got the uh, crypt in there as well. It's going to be a really nice tank as it slowly grows in. You get more leaves from the Anubius and stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, again, this is one of those tanks where if you throw a black background on that, 
because all of your equipment is black, it'll all disappear. The cords you won't see, the filter, the heater. But if you like the way it looks with the uh, no background on the tank, then leave it the way it is. But a black background may just have everything, especially your neons and stuff, pop out for you a lot more once you throw it on there. Just, in, it's worth a shot if you, if you wanna see it. If you have a black t-shirt or something or whatever, hold that up behind the tank. You'll know right away if you like it or not. Thanks, Turtle Mega. Okay, this one's oh, from wow. Vladimir Kurstik. 20 liter low tech shrimp tank. Good work. I like it. Um, there's a few things about this I really like. The subdued lighting really sets the stage for this, just from an aesthetic standpoint. Uh, we've got nice dark earthy colored rock. It's like a, it looks like a lava rock, but it's obviously like on the black or brown side. We've got a really nice, fine, uh, you know, mid-brown substrate. It's not sand, but it's got that feeling of sand because it's smaller. Uh, Very fine. Sand. Yeah, it's not as coarse as a pea gravel, not nearly as fine as sand. So it's going to be nice and easy to work with. And it'll also stay put a lot easier, which is great. And then you stuck to all green plants um, and they're all stem plants of some sort. Uh, so what really works here uh, I love the fact that we've basically got an S of plants snaking around the rocks from the front of the tank to the back and then right around that rock at the back. Uh, it really draws your focus in and these plants are eventually going to basically touch the surface of the water and uh, you can, Vlad, I hope I can call you Vlad. Are we, are we on a Vlad basis yet? I'll say I yes. hope so. Um, and if you hate Vlad, I'm sorry, I'll go with Vladimir. Uh, you're you're gonna have a lot of options for you know trimming those plants to make kind of hills and mountains around your rock work which is really gonna be cool or you can just let them hit the surface and basically create a jungle and then I would maybe only trim it just where that the plants meet in between the two rocks on the left side just so you can see that rock snaking or sneaking through the plants there uh, overall I love this the the most dominant thing in the tank is the uh, contrast between the rock and the plants and the substrate. Nothing's out competing anything. It's all very har uh, like harmonious. Um, unless I go and look for the equipment, the, the dim lighting kind of melts it into the background so that not having a background in this tank almost doesn't matter. Like I, I, the, I didn't even see the equipment when I first looked at the photo because my eye was immediately drawn yeah. to what's happening in the tank. Very cool. I almost, I'm almost more relaxed just looking at this tank. Really cool setup. Good job. I like it a lot. Good job. Very good low tech tank. Out of way, Vlad. In here. <laughs> Covered both bases. There. Yeah, go Brian. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for your submissions. We really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun seeing everyone else. We're always putting up vids blast. on a lot of tanks. This it's amazing to see firsthand all of your aquariums, everything you're setting up and, and everything you're working on. Yeah. Super cool. I feel like we are so lucky to have a wicked group of subscribers who are clearly like <clears throat> tank devoted people, tank yeah. enthusiasts <clears throat> who are really enjoying the hobby for, for what it is. And uh, honestly, that that's amazing. I feel like I really get to connect. You know what? It's one thing to be able to talk to you guys in the comments and, you know, uh, answer questions and live Q and A's and, and that kind of stuff. It, it is so much, it's, it adds so much more to be able to see what you guys do. Cause I mean, I get to see what I do. I get to see what all the, you know, YouTubers do. People at our office and stuff. They yeah, do. yeah. But to, to connect with you guys and see what you guys have actually created is so cool. Like, I am so glad that, that, you know, we've created this kind of community yeah. that we can tank on together like this. And I really get to enjoy seeing what you guys have created. It is the best. Yeah, so we love, you know, really anytime you feel, uh, send these to us. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'll put the, the contact information in the descri uh, description below. Uh, send them whenever you got them and we will uh, periodically do these, these videos where we check out your aquariums, give you some feedback, uh, some compliments. Uh, We'd love to do it more. So send those to us as much as you can. Uh, don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, which you probably are, if you're not, subscribe. Yeah, and hit that little notification bell. Yeah, and send us your photos, and then you oh, will also please. have your yeah. stuff in, in, in our videos. Absolutely. Make sure to uh, check us out on Facebook, Instagram. We got all that. Uh, make sure to check out BigLspets.com, where we have all kinds of, uh, of stuff for you guys to pick up for your aquariums, for your pets. Tons for of stuff. Yeah. Tons of stuff. Make sure you check that out. And as always... Keep on tanking!